Hello everyone, this is Ali from Viceroy Abbott Langley and Indian Restaurant Cooking dot com. This uh, video we are going to demonstrate how we make our sag pre cooked sag. Now here we are we have a block of frozen spinach here. Now you can buy your blocks of spinach in major supermarket. The big ones they have frozen packets. And here we have a chopped chopped of spinach here. Onions. Vegetable oil. A pinch of salt here and chopped garlic now the the procedure is, is to defrost your block spinach first and then what you do after the defrostation you squeeze the water out and then you chop chop the spinach into small pieces that we have here now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the, the, the dish here. The pan is ready. Now, Chef Imran is going to toss the oil in. It's about four to five tablespoons of oil that goes in there. Yeah. We wait for a couple of seconds till the oil heats up. Right, it's crossing. Four tablespoons of chopped garlic. This is a three chopped garlic is crossing. Right. It's putting three large chopped onions in there. There you go. One tablespoon of salt. Right, there is a, there is the about eight to nine hundred grams of salt going in there. Like, wonderful. Give it a little good mix in there and we leave this to cook for about 10 minutes. Leave on a small gas setting for to cook for about 10 minutes. I will show you in this third part the end product.
Right, there we are. We s finish our cooking our sog, the spinach. Yeah, that's about 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes cooking. And we're done. There we go now. When we do our sagalu, take a bit of spinach and you add the potato it. And if you're doing straight spinach, you just take as it is. And we just showed you how to make the base sag spinach. Uh, please go onto my web, uh, web website www.indianrestaurantcooking.com where you can write your views and reviews. And once again, thank you so much for everybody who has been watching my video and joining me and subscribing my channel. Once again, a big thank you to everyone and everyone who is trying our recipes and also to the people who are loading our video to other sites. I'm ever so grateful to for you doing